Solving inequalities like this is just the same as solving equations in that you have to do the same to both sides of your inequality, but if you divide or multiply by a negative number, the inequality sign turns from facing one way to the other. So let's have a look at how we do this one. First of all, I'm going to subtract 13 from both sides. So on the left-hand side, I'm now going, now going to have 2x, and on the right-hand side, I've now got 6 take away 13, which is minus 7. I don't need to turn the inequality sign around. All I've done is subtracted something, not multiplied or divided by a negative number. I'm now going to divide both sides by 2. Now, again, I'm dividing by a positive number here. The sign, therefore, doesn't need to turn around. So I'm going to leave it pointing right. 2x divided by 2, well, that's just x. Minus 7 divided by 2, well, I'll just write it like that to start with. That's just the same, then, as x is greater than or equal to minus 3.5. So that's the solution to the first part. question now says n is a negative integer. So it's a negative whole number, and it satisfies the same inequality. So x, in this case, I'm going to use n, though. n must be greater than or equal to minus 3.5. Helps here to think of a number line, I think, where you've got 0 here, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and there's minus 4. So minus 3.5 is in between the two. So this inequality says that n has to be greater than or equal to minus 3.5. So any number greater than or equal to minus 3.5. We're told, though, that n has to be a negative integer. Now, the only negative integers which are featured here or on the number line are minus 3, minus 2, and minus 1. So the answer there is just minus 3, minus 2, and minus 1. Those are the only possible negative integers which are greater than or equal to minus 3.5.